I would now like to invite Stephen Carp to come forward and deliver the valedictory address. Mr. Chancellor and members of Convocation, proud parents, relatives, and friends, fellow graduates, thank you for giving me the opportunity to speak to you today. As I look at you graduates, I see many faces I recognize. During our four or so years at Waterloo, from Frosh Week until this morning, we've each met hundreds of new people. And when you met someone you didn't know, one of the first questions they probably asked you was, where are you from? I myself am from Vancouver. I lived there for my whole life until I came to Waterloo for university. When I told this to total strangers, they would often say to me, Vancouver is a beautiful city. Why did you come all the way out here? It was easy for me to say simply that Waterloo is a great school and leave it at that. But soon I was made to start thinking. Did I really leave the ocean and mountains of Vancouver behind to come to Waterloo? Did I really leave the nightlife of Vancouver in exchange for Phil's? Did I really leave my loyal dog at home and come here to be chased and squawked at by geese? <laughs> Graduates, I did. And for the past four years, I haven't regretted my decision for a minute. When you met someone new here, it's true that they probably asked you, where are you from? But actually, the very first question they likely asked you was, what program are you in? Because at Waterloo, what matters most is not where you're from, but what you do while you're here. And graduates, we do math. <laughs> Last term, I had a math class in the Modern Languages building. During my many walks to and from MC, I got to thinking, math in modern languages. In many ways, graduates, learning math here was like learning a new language. Think of all the vocabulary and terms we had to memorize. And when we looked at our textbook or our professor's notes for the first time, sometimes it looked like total jargon until we sat down and translated it. But Waterloo has made me see that math is a language in an even deeper sense. On the one hand, language is an essential part of each of our daily lives. It's the most practical way for us to communicate. Language is how I'm communicating with you right now, and it's also how, right now, some of you are communicating with your friends. <laughs> and on the other hand, language forms some of the world's greatest art. They're Shakespeare, J.K. Rowling, whoever your favorite author is, writing literature that on the surface seems practically useless. But yet this literature is immensely satisfying and beautiful, and it too plays an important role in our world. I believe it is essential to learn a language from both sides, not only to grasp the practical fundamentals that allow us to communicate with the world around us, but also to appreciate the gems of literature that make our lives more worthwhile. And this, graduates, is how Waterloo teaches math. In our classes, we not only learn the facts of the subject, the practical methods, and the tools used in industry and in the workplace. We also learn that math is actually a way of thinking, which leads to observations so beautiful that math would be worthwhile even without any applications. Graduates, I know you've all experienced that moment when, at 3 a.m., after a long night, you finally solved the hardest problem on your assignment. And even though it was difficult then to see the big picture, you thought to yourself, you know, this is actually really nice. And isn't it worth it? Even aside from all the marvelous people I've met here and the times with them I treasure, this one thing alone, learning to see the world in new ways through math, made coming to Waterloo worth it for me. Whatever program you're in, all of us in the math faculty share the fundamental way that math has taught us to think, to be logical, to find patterns in the midst of chaos, 
to relate ideas using analogies and metaphors, and also to be precise while doing it. To realize that good enough often isn't good enough. It taught us to do our best. Now, as you go out into the world and meet new people, when they ask you, where are you from? Be proud to say, I'm from Waterloo, and I studied math. Whatever you choose to do with your life, your fluency in math will take you a long way. It will give you the creative thinking skills you need to solve problems. It will earn you the respect of your peers and coworkers. Math will provide you with some of the greatest challenges you will encounter, and also some of the most satisfying rewards. It will take you as high as you want to go. It will take you above, well, I don't want to go over the top. That I leave to you. Thank you. Stephen, thank you very much for your wonderful, insightful, thoughtful, memorable words. And I'm so glad that you were here in Waterloo, not in Vancouver, two days ago.